डू यू नो क्वाइट शॉकिंगली ग्लोबल क्रेडिट रेटिंग एजेंसी मूडीज इन्वेस्टर सर्विस हैज डाउनग्रेडेड इंडिया सॉवरेन रेटिंग टू बी ए ए थ्री विच इज द लोएस्ट इन्वेस्टमेंट ग्रेड रेटिंग शॉर्ट ऑफ बींग कॉल्ड लिटरली ए ट्रैश कैटेगरी इट इज अनबिलीवेबल बट लेट सी वॉट एंड वाई मूडीज डिड वॉट इट डिड इन टूडेज मैंटोर टॉक I will be sharing certain facts about Moody's recent low and shaky rating of India. So keep watching this video. Moody's has downgraded government of India's foreign currency and local currency long term issuer rating and local currency senior unsecured rating to baa3 from baa2 and short term local currency rating to p3 from p2 principally referring to challenges in the implementation of policies to minimize risks of a on a for a continued period of low growth and deteriorating fiscal position moody's has downgraded the the ratings of major indian companies like ongc hpcl iocl bpcl uh, and even tcs and infosys to negative as it downgraded india's sovereign rating to ba3 negative further moody's has declared the long term issuer ratings of reliance industries limited to negative from stable already the other two main rating agencies in the world snp and fitch have rated india as 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 low in the investment category so now all three major rating agencies have downgraded india quite alarmingly i would say moody's decision to downgrade india basically finds its basis on the inadequate implementation of economic reforms in the past couple of years comparatively low economic growth over a prolonged period considerable decline in the fiscal position of both central and state governments and the mounting pressure on india's financial sector moody's has emphasized uh, you know continual fundamental challenges to a better economic growth like fragile infrastructure rigidities uh, you know in re in respect of labor land and product markets and escalating financial sector risks what bothers me most is that that though this downgrade is in the context of corona virus pandemic but it is not driven by the impact of the pandemic yes that is what has been that is what has been clarified by moody's statement ratings are you know central and built on the complete condition uh, of the economy you know the health of the economy and and the and the, and the state of uh, Uh, you know uh, government finances a rating downgraded basically implies that bonds issued by the indian government are now riskier since weaker economic growth and deteriorating fiscal health has weakened government's capacity to pay back yes ironically in november 2017 moody had assigned india with baa2 rating with a stable outlook on the premise that effective implementation of key reforms would would strengthen the sovereign's credit profile but unfortunately the implementation of reforms has been relatively weak and has not not resulted uh, in 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 material credit improvements indicating you know limited policy effectiveness the slight face saving and the brighter light sneaking out of moody's projections are that though the country's real gdp may may contract 4% in the fiscal year 2020 due to the the the, the shock from you know uh, uh, corona virus pandemic and uh, you know related lockdown measures but it's going to be followed by 8.7% growth in fiscal year 2021 and closer to 6% thereafter that's that's slightly promising a prolonged period of slower growth may dampen the pace of improvements in living standards that is the 
the challenge our government and, and we the people will have to be prepared for. Well, I hope you found this uh, video informative. See you next time at Mentor Talk with, with a new topic of your interest, your choice. Thank you.